Doing my best to wade through the thick undergrowth, I start losing sight of my sister. Wait! Kerry! I scream. You're running too fast! I'm going to lose you! As she comes to an abrupt stop, I quickly catch up. Trying my best to catch my breath, I eventually stand next to her. To my surprise, she's just gawking at a nearby overgrown bush. Shh! She whispers, with a single finger over her lips. I saw a really weird-looking cat. <sighs> weird-looking how? I ask, still panting. It was like a luminous pink, she comments and points at the bush. I think it's hiding in there. Luminous? I ask her, pulling a silly face in the process. Cats aren't like that. Playfully bumping her shoulder into mine, she looks at me with wide eyes. I know what I saw, Liam, she whispers. Have a look if you don't believe me. Okay then, I answer with confidence. I will. Moving towards the bush, I heard no movements. It gave me real confidence that Kerry was just trying to wind me up, and I'd prove her wrong within seconds. As I reach out, ready to pull some branches aside, I see rapid movement. A little scared, I wildly flinch my arms. Ouch! I cry out, as a cut appears on my forearm. Something just scratched me! Falling to my ass, I shuffle back from the bush. As Kerry falls to my side, we both see the shiny, bright-coloured cat flee. Oh my god! I yell, watching the cat disappear into the undergrowth. You weren't lying! Did you see its colour? You're bleeding! Kerry exclaims, fearing for me. Still shocked at what I'd just seen, I didn't notice. With Kerry trying her best to stop the blood, I eventually look down at my arm. Ouch! I whine as she compresses my arm. It's not that bad, Kerry. Don't panic. I can't even feel it. Taking my arm away from her, she gives me a dirty look. I need to clean it! She complains, trying to grab my arm back. Stubbornly getting to my feet, I shake my head at her. Honestly... I say with a wry smile. I can't feel it. There's no pain. I'll be fine. Holding my arm out to her to help her back onto her feet, she hisses at me. Boys, she gripes, tucking her hair behind her ears. So stupid. As we start walking away, I started to worry something was very wrong with me. I felt faint and dizzy. As I let out a whine, Carrie turns back to check on me. Not wanting her to know that I felt lightheaded, I just gave her a silly smile and nodded. I'm okay, I say, rubbing my forehead. Should we just head home? I'm a little tired. Reaching for my hand, she grabs it tight. Carrie then starts leading me out of the woods. Yeah, she says with worry. You aren't looking so good. Your face has gone all puffy. I'm really worried about you. It has? I reply, pulling my hand from hers and poking at my face. It doesn't feel puffy. N no, seriously, Carrie says, swiftly turning and looking intently at my face. Y you look like you've got... Uh, uh, whiskers? Oh, shut up, Kerry, I scoff. Stop messing around. Still staring directly at my face, I couldn't help but feel a bit self-conscious. She was looking at me like I was the elephant man or something. L Liam? Kerry says as her expression becomes worried and she slowly raises her hand to point at my head. What, what, what are those growing on your head? Rolling her eyes, I gave her a sigh. Kerry's expression doesn't change. With wide eyes and an open mouth, she just leans towards me. They... They look like cat ears, she exclaims. Reaching up to the top of my head, I huff in exasperation. Cat ears, I question, annoyed at how far she's trying to take this. As I reach the top of my head, Kerry gasps and brings her hands to her mouth. That's when I feel them. I feel the soft but furry ears on top of my head. My face drops. She was right. I have something on my head. What the hell? I shout, using both my hands to investigate. Carrie still holding her hands over her mouth and watching intently. I try pulling them off. Ouch! I yell, giving both a hard yank. That really hurt! Frantically looking for my cell phone, I pull it from my pocket. Opening the photo app, I switch it to selfie mode and use it to look at myself. Kerry! I cry. Why have I got cassies going from my head? That's not all. Kerry croaks and points at my backside. Look! Turning on the spot, trying my best to look at my ass, I'm terrified at what I see. Is... is that a... It's a tail! Carrie interrupts, reaching down to touch it. With one ninja quick movement, she grabs it. Meow! I groan, flinching from how sensitive it feels. Her touch felt like daggers. Meow! Carrie asks and fuse, as she lets it go. Did that hurt? 
With me making a random cat noise, I felt so embarrassed. I couldn't even look at her. I yeah, I admit as I turned to hide my tail from her. I don't know why this is happening, but please don't touch that. It's really sensitive. A shiver ran down my spine as Kerry focused on me again with that same shocked expression. Uh, what is it? I ask her, panicking that she's seen something else. Oh my god! Kerry screams and points at my chest. Look at your chest! Looking at the terror in her eyes, my heart starts racing. What the hell is happening to me now? Very slowly, I lower my face to look down at my chest. Throwing my arms out in shock, I see two mounds trying to bust out from my t-shirt. Uh, uh, are they? I say apprehensively. They're b Kerry yells. Stunned, I feel the blood rush out of my face. Boys don't have b Help, help me, ow, I cry. Just as the curiosity gets the better of me, I reach slowly to give one of my breasts a confirmation squeeze. I feel my stomach churn in pain. Folding over with agony, I clutch at my lower stomach. With my new breasts hanging down, completely unsupported, I feel the weight of them swinging around. God, are you okay? Kerry asks, placing a comforting arm on my back. It's going back inside me! Ow! I groan. Kerry, help me! Ow! Ah! It's going back inside me! With a single pat on my back, Kerry leans down towards my face. What's going back inside you? She questions with real confusion. Turning to face her, I gave her a desperate look. Kerry! I say softly, with a more feminine sounding voice. I, I think it's gone. Standing bolt upright, Kerry moves away from me in fright. With despair in my eyes, I start frantically padding at my downstairs, hoping that what I felt wasn't true. Liam, Kerry whines, S stop it, you're scaring me. Now with a sensation of nothing hanging between my legs, I close my thighs together tightly. The feelings coming back from that area are completely foreign to me. It felt like I wasn't the only one that had started turning into a You've shrunk, Kerry says, snapping me out of my despondency. You've also looked like you've got girly white hips too. I feel weird, I comment back. Everything about me now feels weird. With Kerry gawking at me, I fold my arms around my chest, trying to hide my body. Stop looking at me now, I screech. Your hair, Kerry says, grinning like an idiot. It's growing really fast. Not even seconds later, I feel long wispy brown hair cascading down my face and back. As it covers my eyes, I feel the weight of my expanding hair weigh me down. I, th I think you've... Kerry pauses and helps me tuck my long hair behind my ears. Liam, I think you've turned into a girl. A... a cat girl? Puffing out my cheeks in frustration, I look off to the side. I think you might be right, I sigh. That would explain the sensations I'm feeling between my legs. Looking up at Kerry, who is now standing slightly taller than me, I look into her eyes. As I do, she smiles and grabs hold of my shoulders. Twirling me 360 degrees on the spot, she starts making humming noises. What? I growl as she stops moving me. I can't believe I've got a sister now, she giggles. Pouting and folding my arms tighter, she grabs at my now very baggy t-shirt and holds it up. We really need to get you some new clothes, Kerry comments, pointing at how my enlarged nipples were showing through my t-shirt. You defo need a bra. Kerry, no, I moan. Meow, need to work out how to change me back. Not listening to me, Kerry grabs my hand and starts pulling me. She was so much stronger than I thought. I wanted to stop her, but I couldn't. Where are Meow going? I ask, trying to keep up. To the mall, she yells back. Exiting the woods and making our way into a town, I couldn't have felt more uncomfortable. Not only did my body move and jiggle in new ways, but I felt like everyone was looking at me. With Kerry still pulling me, we eventually got to the mall. As we enter, I could see people giving me weird looks. Where's the expo? A guy asks, giving me a smile as we pass him. Trying to my best to hide, Kerry finally lets go of my hand as we stand outside a girl's clothing store. Looking into the window, I see high heels, dresses, and other such items I had no business, even considering putting on my body. I don't meow about this, I purr, as Kerry gives me a very wide grin. I'm not a girl. With that, the longest two hours of my life occurs. We visited every clothing rack, every little thing Kerry thought was cute, she held up against my body, hoping I'd agree to wear it. Eventually, she allowed me to change into a dungaree-type dress. I was really happy that I looked like it would hide my transformation. As I stand in front of the mirror, with Kerry close behind, I look at my new, cat-like feminine body. This is so meow, I purr. I can't believe that meow. Grinning, Kerry looks at me through the reflection of the mirror. I think I'm going to call you mittens, she giggles.